Good morning, everyone. As I said in last week's video, Yoke and I are going to the pumpkin patch this morning to a place very nearby. We love it. It's the second time for us. We just go there for fun and take some photos, pick up some of the pumpkins for decoration, and afterwards, we will be making a pumpkin pie, the first one. Um, a gluten-free one, so I, I think it's, oh, hopefully it's going to turn out well. Um, I've already sorted out some of the ingredients that we're going to need behind me, and uh, yeah, let's get cracking! Lots of pumpkins. <laughs> Good morning. I love pumpkins. Okay, we just returned from the pumpkin patch, which was very nice, the weather's nice. It's always fun to watch the little children enjoying themselves. And now we're going to make the, it's called brulee pumpkin pie. Um, I found the recipe on Pinterest. I'm a huge fan of Pinterest, it's my source of inspiration always. This is the recipe, and it looks wide yummy so we're going to make the tart dough first for the dough you need gluten-free flour sugar or vanilla pot lemon zest butter egg yolk and one egg it's not going to be a very large tart, but I think great for two people. It's a nine inch plate. So this is actually double the amount you need for the dough. I'm going to divide it in half and freeze freeze it for later use, probably in December. It's always a good idea. For the filling we are making pumpkin puree and are using a butternut squash. Cut it into large chunks and bake it for about 60 to 80 minutes. Now we're going to make the pumpkin puree. So you need the pumpkin, cornstarch, pinch of salt, nutmeg, ginger, mixed spice, an egg, brown sugar and milk. I will put the whole recipe down below in the description box with all the ingredients.
This is what it looks like at the moment. It's still not finished, but it smells amazing and I honestly can't wait to try it. Okay, Jörg is now adding the finishing touch and will be caramelizing the pie. I can't wait. It's the first time we're doing this, so fingers crossed. That's the finished product. We haven't tried it yet, but it looks really, really good. Yum. I'm so hungry now. I just had my first bite and it is wonderful. It's really tasty and great, so you should try it out. So this was a recipe on a Saturday afternoon and I hope you like it. It's very easy, I was quite surprised, always good. And uh, I'll see you next week, bye bye.